playing professionally at 14 and uh, from then on it was constantly playing you know? and what were you listening to what were your influences well, you know as a teenager what, yeah. what, what was what was giving you the buzz well, as a teenager I, I mean I liked the stuff that was hip at the time but yet I listened to like my, my father's collection you know which was anything from doo-wop to um, you know to, you know to, to blues Freddie King you know to, you know, Glenn and Skinner, to, you know, all the way up to Metallica, everything in between. So it, it, there was always music playing at my house, which I was lucky for that. You know, it's, uh, you know, you don't see that a lot anymore, you know, in the States. You know, people come home from, you know, turn on the radio or turn on a record player, or, you know. But there was always music, Crosby, Stills, and Nash would play, you know. And, and for years, I knew all these songs, I knew the lyrics, didn't know who they were. You know what I mean? But every time, you know, it, it kind of all sunk in. You know what I mean? Doobie Brothers. I mean, pretty much, it, it was so cool. You know what I mean? Cause it, it, well, it's interesting you say Doobie Brothers because, yeah, I can hear yeah. sort of Doobie stuff in right. the, the early Doobie Brothers. Right, right, right. Yeah. In, in what you do. Definitely. Right. You know, I mean, it, all, it all sinks yeah. in. I didn't know you were with Southside Johnny. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I did six so, years. Okay, so that must have been quite... When, when was that? Was that early on in your career? Yeah. That, so no, before you formed your own band, was it? It was around... I, 2009 okay. I started yeah, yeah. and um, and they uh, you know in 2011 and you know it, I, 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 we did a record with Little Steven with him um, of course you're younger than I thought Billy oh, yeah, right, right. <laughs> and I'm older than you right, thought no, so. yeah no that's not true <laughs> no but uh, yeah but they they got you know um, Bobby Bandiera was going with Bon Jovi and we opened up a night and uh and and that right after the show, Johnny says, "I want you," you know, and I'm like, "All right, let's do it," okay. you know. Yeah. So and uh, you know, I replaced him for a while, and I did six years with him, you know. I'm just trying to get my band going, you know what I mean. And I'm still friends with him. You're still part of the family. You'll always be a Jew if you're in the band for six years. You're always a Jew, you know what I mean. when we come over we we always get a great response you know from everybody and uh it's kind of taking them on a ride the whole show is a ride you know ups and downs and you know that's what that's what we try to do yeah. you know what i mean that's a, it's not just one thing or one guy with a guitar over indulgement you know what i mean that's cool no you have you know, to say that you are the billy walton band it's yes, not just yeah. billy walton with yeah but some but, guys behind no 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 it's they're the, the thing, band yeah. it's a band you know yeah. and, and I'm lucky to have these great players. You know, they're we're all from the same, uh, you know, the bloodline, the the Asbury. We always, you know, been around each other, so it, it's it's a different kind of chemistry than just jamming with somebody that you know. Yeah, you have that sort of, as you say, a bloodline, but it's that lineage going back, isn't oh, it? Yeah. And going yeah. back to the music that you all love and that you grew up with oh, and yeah. everything, and it just runs through everything. Yeah. Yeah. Right, and it's funny because most of the guys, you know, that are, are my age in the band. 
they're they're kind of misfits like me. We weren't into what was hip at the time. We were we worked our way. I mean, I have too. You know, worked my way backwards in music. Okay, I heard. Oh, Steve Ray Vaughan came out. Okay, that's kind of cool. Where did that come from? Okay, Jimi Hendrix and, you know, let's see, Albert King, yeah, Freddie King. Freddie King yeah. You put them together and there's that. And then before that, you know. And where did they get that from? Right. Yeah. You work yeah. backwards, you know, and it, which was a very cool thing, you know. I love the blues. I always play the blues. I listen all the time, you know, uh, constantly. But I'm a, I'm a white guy from New Jersey. You know what I mean? I, I'm not from Mississippi. You know what I mean? The real deal. Oh, sorry, I so wanted to go New Jersey. New Jersey. No, <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. And I thought, well, shut up, Nick. Yeah, no. <laughs> but yeah. I said it anyway. Sorry, but, carry on. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, blues had a baby. It's called rock and roll. Mm-hmm. And, you know, we're, um, you know, Jersey Shore flavored rock and roll. There's a different, you know, you could play a mem- uh, you could play Motown song you know, from Jersey. It's ahead of the beat when we play it. It's, it's a different, it's a more of an energy. You know what I mean? And uh, same thing with the blues. It's more, when we play a blues song, it's more energy than the original. You know what I mean? And, On the front foot, right. not the back. Yeah. Right. So so the purists might not get it. He, they want to hear, you know, born under a bad sign, you know, or, or and that's cool. Or they want to hear, um, you know, a John Lee Hooker tune, you know. Or, and, but, you know, for, for us, I mean, we're, we're not trying to rewrite the book. We're just doing what is in our bloodline. So there's blues influence, there's rock influence, there's soul influence. You know, it's the all music right, is all music. Right. It's gonna be good, right? It's gonna be all right. what we were talking about with the blues you know what I mean um, and there's so many different styles of blues you know in the states you know you can tell a difference between Chicago blues a Texas blues Memphis blues you know what I mean a Mississippi blues yeah. you know, blue, you know yeah. sitting on the front yeah. porch blues so I mean having a rock a blue I, I always call it uh, rock and soul you know what I mean I, I you know it's Jersey rock and soul you know, so it's 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 the element of blues, rock, and soul from New Jersey. You know what I mean. So it's a different flavor. You know what I mean. So you know, uh, it, it it comes with territory. You know, you know what I mean. You, um, that type of sound is from that area. New Orleans has a sound. Yeah. You know, uh, yeah. Seattle had a sound. You know, New York had a sound. Uh, Chicago, like we said, well, Jersey is its own sound, you know, I mean, that's why we have the horn section, it's a six-piece band, mm-hmm. so it's, it's what I want to represent, you know what I mean, so, and, uh, and we enjoy it, the, um, the response we get from the crowds are, are great, they, you know, it, it's kind of um, more of a, a happy energy, and, 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 you know, working back and forth with them, and at, at the end of the night, they're exhausted, we're exhausted, you know, and, uh, it was a good, you know, it was fun. You know what I mean? And, that, and that's, when it stopped being fun, then I'm not coming. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that's, uh, everybody feels the same way. Thank you so much, everyone. Red Butler, ladies and gentlemen. With a bit of one man from New Jersey. We'll see you next time, man. Thanks for coming out.